Canada's top court has delivered its ruling in a case brought forward by the Toronto Star in an attempt to unseal estate files related to Barry and Honey Sherman. Today's decision states that the sealing orders on the files of the billionaire couple were unjustified, paving the way for the media to gain access. The couple was found dead inside their Toronto mansion in 2017. A judge had issued an order protecting the files in 2018, which would ordinarily be available for public view. The double homicide remains unsolved, but police insist the case has not gone cold. For more, I want to bring in Kevin Donovan now. He's the chief investigative reporter for The Star, who's been covering this investigation. Kevin, first of all, let's get your reaction to this decision by the Supreme Court this morning. This is a big win for you. Uh, well, the Toronto Star, and, and, and speaking personally, we're, we're delighted. Uh, the open court principle is uh, a very important part of Canadian society. I uh, was delighted to, uh, to read uh, the judgment and see that the, the courts and the unanimous decision reaffirmed that. And uh, reporters every day uh, go into court on behalf of the public to try and, and uh, help us make sense of what's going on in our world. Courts are a big part of that. And and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do even more as a result of this. Yeah, so what does this mean for your reporting and your investigation into the Sherman case? Well, I mean, there is obviously this wider uh, part of it, the importance of uh, open courts. Uh, but in this case, uh, at some point uh, in the near future, we'll be able to see the files uh, uh, that uh, relate to Barry and Honey Sherman. There, there will uh, any other documents? I'm particularly curious about uh, a mysterious uh, the affidavit of, of somebody that the name was uh, uh, never disclosed to us, who said that there was a fear of kidnapping uh, if, if this information got out. And uh, you know, it's, it's unclear now how soon we'll be able to see those files. The files uh, we know are also related to the police investigation, and uh, so there may be some steps to take there as well. Uh, but uh, Today, I just think it's a good, uh, good news for freedom of the press and openness of court. Yeah. Uh, I can't let you go without asking you about the investigation because people are, are so, I'm going to say, obsessed with this story. They want to know what happened. Um, such a huge case. Do you think that police, Kevin, are any closer to solving their murders? Well, I was uh, back in, in court representing the Star uh, a month ago on uh, the, the issues of the search warrants and the detective from the witness stand uh, said that, uh, you know, they're moving ahead. They've, they've uh, they're got an international search uh, for some information on the go. Uh, they, uh, will not, they certainly won't say that it is cold, but to me, three and a half years later, you have to wonder uh, if, if, if they really have something uh, or if they're, they're chasing a phantom. It's just unclear, and, and, and that's because the police are not being clear. Kevin, thank you so much for this. Kevin Donovan with the Toronto Star. Really appreciate it.